Good morning. We're live in the Weather Channel Forecast Center. It's August 24th, 1992. History in the making as Hurricane Andrew is now making landfall in South Florida. We're talking about the Miami area. Let me show you the latest radar out of here. And you can see the... We're moving west, south, uh, west at 8. And this is the latest official forecast track of the National Hurricane Center. A mean-looking storm. And as a matter of fact, in the last five minutes or so, this eastern eyewall uh, that's headed for Pearl River County, Mississippi, has begun to flare. They can clutch. Sometimes somebody clutches them. These are probably the... <laughs> These are the, I've got the Nassau County Sheriff holding me onto to the boardwalk. Hurricane Irene, a huge storm impacting millions of people along the coast. Welcome back to our live 24-hour coverage of Hurricane Irene. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Paul Goodlow. Right now, Hurricane Irene remains a Category 1 hurricane, but it is living up to its full potential. We're talking some areas have already picked up hurricane force winds for over 12 hours today. Remember Hurricane Katrina in 2006, right? Yes, I actually do. Why? It's due to the increase of warmer water over the years, it's leading up to the big one. How do you know? I've been tracking it for years, but I didn't know it would come this quickly. How are we supposed to do this? Shouldn't we just warn the people to get to safety then? Let's just do my plan. Hey! What is your plan anyways? Good idea. We should eliminate the hurricane by putting cold water all over the ocean. Wait a second. How is this going to work? Dude, just trust me. Okay, if anything goes wrong, we're just going to stop what we're doing and we're going to warn everybody, alright? No, officer. Oh. Officer. Yes. No, no, man, no. What do you mean, no? I mean, no? Um, it's a bad idea. Why not? Because cold water is not going to help. Put it this way. What happens if it does, though? Mm -hmm. No. But... Got my office. Hey! Now first, as to the evacuation zone, let me stress that we are ordering this evacuation for the safety of the approximately 375,000 people who live in these areas. We've been through a lot in the last 11 years. Uh, we've had experience with hurricanes, we've had experience with a transit strike and a blackout and more. Um, so we know what to do. I am completely confident that all of the city agencies have uh, made all the preparations that are appropriate, that they're working together. Uh, we'll certainly get through this, but we'd like to get through this with nobody getting hurt. Our first priority is keeping everybody safe. And because of the surge, we think it's appropriate uh, that I sign an order mandating evacuation from Zone A. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hurry up. 
Hurry up. Hurry up. So, what are you doing in the storm? What? Why you say? He said, what are you doing in the storm, man? Uh, nah, I just hugging the trees but one by one. Do you know that there's a storm right now, right? Yeah, yeah, man. The trees go up high to the sky. Oh my god. Oh, man. We gotta get you out of here, bro. Hey, come on. We'll get you out of here. Hey, man. We need to wake up that tree. Oh. Hey, yeah. Where do you live, man? And they mentioned the bus rings. Alright, we're gonna get you there. <laughs> I need you to do something really important, man. What? We need to continue this mission. This old no. man's. Wait, what? why? Because I need to take this old man home, man. Are you sure? Are you sure I'm, not, I'm gonna know what to do? You gotta do hey, this, man. You got I'm this, man. I'm not. Whoa. Whoa. Hello, I'm Joshua King, and I'm here with the the, the director of the movie Large Hurricanes, uh, Sean King. Hello. So, uh, to start us off, I'm pretty sure many of us are wondering by now, what is the whole point of this movie you've created for us? Well, the whole point of this movie is pretty much to tell people that we need to start looking at our environment because... One thing is people are pretty much giving up on treating this environment because of global warming. Global warming is on the rise because of all the factories and all the fuels and stuff that's going into our air with CO2. So, what happens is it pretty much causes more warm water, which is the fuel or resources towards hurricanes. So, by the next centuries, Hurricane Katrina is pro probably about to be a, a regular storm to us, which it's not. It's a super storm. So, yeah. Right, we wouldn't want that. We don't want to get our shoes dirty. <laughs> no, 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 not our Jordans. <laughs> yeah. Especially the J's. Um, my next question. Um, as I was watching your uh, short video here, I noticed there was a cop wielding a uh, penny board. What was the... Why did you have a cop on set? Oh, good question. Well, what happened was it was showing how even the police and everyone is giving up on helping our environment. So we just went and tried our effort to save it anyways, but it's soon you noticed that it failed. But at least we showed effort on trying to save our environment. All right, you make some very good points. Um, so you're, you covered global warming pretty well, and... The increase in warm water is, you know, affecting us greatly. Yes. But speaking of water, what about drought and coral bleaching? Are well, you going to cover that? I'll get to that soon, yes. Well, there you have it. Uh, we hope your questions have been answered, and that concludes our interview.